In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can vectorize an image in Adobe Illustrator 2025. So let's first add an image we want to trace. We want to vectorize. You can go to File and then choose Open or choose Place if you want to, but I mostly like to just drag it. So here we have a picture of a woman holding a watermelon. Now with that picture you want to vectorize, select it, you can go to properties and then here we're going to choose image trace, also known before as live trace. And when you click image trace you have several options you can choose from here, but you can change of source if you're not happy. So let's choose six colors. And our illustrator is going to do its thing. As you can see here, if you want to change it, you can now click this button here to open the image trace panel, or you can also go through window and then choose image trace. Now with the image trace panel, you can adjust what you just chose. So let's say you want to have 16 colors, even black and white, shades of gray. You can also manually adjust your colors. Let's say you want 10 colors. It's a bit better, but for this one, maybe you want 20 colors. Just like that. And you can play around with this to find whatever you want. Uh, you can also say full tone, color palette, or you can choose to let Illustrator do its thing and then choose automatic. So then it will choose itself. Colors, accuracy, and percentage. You can decrease or increase. That's when you choose the automatic. It's not there when you choose to have limited or full tone, so if you choose limited, you can adjust the colors. And then in advanced you have the pots, higher value means tighter fit, corners, higher value means low, more corners, and noise, the higher value, or well, the higher value means less noise and reduce the noise to ignore areas for a specified pixel size, so that's also adjustable here. And then you have this ignore color here, which you can do, you can choose yourself. Uh, now it doesn't ignore much, but if you, for example, choose this one, then it will ignore that color. Um, not what we're looking for. So I just control command Z to undo. I have this exact same picture here in the PNG image, and I removed the background with Adobe Photoshop. As you can see here outside of my or both, there is no background. But when I select this image and I go to image trace, and then let's say here 16 colors, as you can see now, it's adding a background, a white background where there wasn't one before. So here you can choose this ignore color and Illustrator will choose the background color itself. And I was going to ignore it and then you have removed that white square. So that's something you can use if you want to use it. But apart from that, vectorizing your image can be done using the image trace here, uh, before known as the live trace, and then adjusting the settings to your liking. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I have new tutorials going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video, stay creative, and I hope to see you in the next one.